Welcome to Taste Buds on Infinite Clicks. I'm Hank Thompson. This is my best friend, Joe, Joe McAdam. It's Joe McAdam. Hello, everybody. Today, I, yeah. today we're making Christmas guacamole, the kind of guacamole you can only eat at Christmas or any other time of year. So, Joe, I'm going to show you a family recipe that I've been using to make guacamole since I was a little boy. I saw this on TV once. Bobby Flay showed me. And ever since then, it's been a tradition in my family. So first Bobby of all, Bobby Flay hasn't been on TV that long. Like since you're a little just, boy. That's not the point here. All right, that's the you can you can worry about that later. First thing you want to do is you want to start with a guacamole. How about you cut one open with me? The, there you go. This Take is a an knife. avocado, right? Yes. We start oh, we start by chopping open the avocado. First okay. of all, very carefully cut it in a circle, kind of like that. Give it one of these. Uh, this one's kind of not really ready. Um, twist and open. Beautiful. Oh, just gorgeous green and shades of green. See, look yeah, what you did there. That looks great. So you want to get that nut out of that or whatever this thing is called, the, the core. Just give it a little whack. Oh, no. I think you went a little bit overkill. Went a little bit strong yeah. on that one. Um, just jab it out there and get it a flick. There you go. Get it out there. Um, up. Oop. Now, what you want to do is you want to start building your avocado slowly. Now, take a fork or a spoon. We don't have either, so I have a plastic fork from the cake shop. And uh, give it a little scoop. Get it out there, okay? Okay. Get it into yeah. a bowl very carefully. That's good. That's very good. And uh, let's see here. Get in there. It's really hard. Okay, good. Beautiful. Uh, you just, you know, one of the nice things about cooking, Joe, is that you can do it with kids. Yeah, you don't have kids though, do you? I don't know. I don't have any. So, as all holiday traditions, this one is messy. <laughs> we're still anyway. We're gonna push forward. Give it a whack. Snap More it out there. Avocado. Now that's what you're trying to do with the avocado. Why don't you, you just, then you, know, you just take one. another knife, pop it off, this and there it goes. Rotten on the inside. Right? That doesn't look good. Ooh. Well, cut around the rot part. Just cut Did the you? rot part out. That's fine. We'll be okay. I, I don't know how to buy guacamoles. They're tough to pick. Hey, everybody. We got a Quantity tip on how to buy guacamoles from Joe McAdam. Buy, a, buy a lot of guacamoles. Um, and then, you know, you're bound to have one of them that works out. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. This one now, looks like you shit. might not know it, but guacamoles are not the only ingredient in a big bowl big of Christmas guacamole. guacamole. They are the defining one though. It just wouldn't be guacamole without these things. So They're scoop it in there. They're avocados by the way. I, I, what have I been calling them? You've been calling them guacamoles. I, I made around the, the rot. Get around the fucking rot. That's what I'm fucking All right. You just scoop this. This is just nasty. Just, oh God. Ugh. Hey, hey. What? What's your favorite Christmas right. song? <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad you asked. I, my favorite Christmas song. I'm, as a boy, we would uh, sing this song. Except we did a, like a version of it. That we, it was about a famous superhero who we, we don't have licensing to talk about. Uh, jingle, jingle bells. One cooking tip, everybody. Have a bowl. Let's get a good shot on this bowl here. Okay, have a... Always have a bowl set aside for garbage. Doesn't make any sense if you walk away from the kitchen. You always save time, see? Just like that. Now there you go, isn't that beautiful? Very, very smart. So Joe, I'm gonna give you a job here. <laughs> Use these big Christmas muscles and start stirring up that, me that mess right there. Here we go. The next step, onion. People says... love onion. I don't know why. It's kind of a horrible thing. It, it's something that should, shouldn't exist, but it's, it's delicious in the right spots in the right split, uh, you know, use, useful. So here we go. Chop it in half. Try not to cut your fingers. Ugh. That's kind of nasty. That's brown in the middle. It it's like got a, a weird brown. brown. Ew. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, gonna avoid that part. I don't know. I, I think another tip is buy a lot of onions too. Um, not, when you have the chance Calif at the store. I thought California had good produce, apparently. Apparently not. Seems like there's a fucking, always something goes fucking wrong. Are they supposed to smell like this? Yes, you're smelling onion. Those are, that smells like guacamole without the onions. All right, so 
chop up an onion here, really give it a good go. Give it a nice dice. You don't want to go too fine, otherwise you'll have onion paste. <laughs> so here we go, chop it in there. Uh, man, it's making my eyes water. Ugh. Give it a good one. Joe, you want to have a taste, see if these onions are good? I don't, raw onion? Ooh. Mmm. I'm not, no, that's gross. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, Joe, tell me about when you were a boy, what kinds of things did you guys like to do on Christmas? Well, um, one Christmas, oh, fuck. when I was just a kid, my mom and dad thought it would be fun to have a surprise <laughs> of a dog. I love surprise, oh, really? Yeah. A dog. So they got a dog, um, Black Friday, you know, the biggest sale day of the year. Oh, sure. You should get all your shopping done. And they, I didn't know people bought pets on Black Friday. They had it wrapped up, and then oh. about, I don't know, what, what December <sighs> you know, 10th, 15th, Fuck. it started to smell. Yeah. It smelled real bad under the did Christmas it, tree. Did he poop under there? What did the dog? No, he was actually deceased um, and, and stayed that way for, well, forever, but stayed under the Christmas tree until forever. Christmas morn. Me and my, my siblings unwrapped a, well, a dead dog. He was sleeping? I don't know. You. Oh. Has no one ever explained death to you, Hank? Why would your parents give you a... Was a dog alive when they bought it? Yes. Oh. And it died later. Oh, that is How about a, that? That looks good. That looks terrific. You did a great job with that. My eyes are really struggling over here, and it's not because of your dead dog. It's because of these fucking onions. All right, so here, let's get some of these onions into the mix. That's delicious. Oh, God. There's some this, skin on it. It's got skin in there. Sorry. Just hold still, please. Thank you. Okay. Just mix that. Up. Mix that up in there. Look, there's a lot of Just go. Look, 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 let me, let me try it. Bam! Sure. <laughs> yeah, because that motherfucker Emerald doesn't have the guts to try something this brave. Okay. Next step. The secret to good guacamole: cucumber. All right. This is what Mr. Bobby Flay taught me one day many years ago. Always put a little cucumber there. You don't even know it's in there, but it adds a nice crisp and a nice freshness to the dish. And people will, gonna, people will say to you, they'll go, what's in this guacamole? It's delicious. I need this recipe. So here we go, Joe. First of all, this is not how they grow. You gotta get rid of these wrappers. Um, you can do that by slicing up that way. I don't like cucumber. What do you mean you don't like cucumber? I think the taste of it is gross. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I think like this, it smells, give it, a, give it, it one of these. tastes bad. Uh, no, I, I normally like to peel and de, uh, de-skin these things, but that, that's kind of a bitch to do. And I didn't bring my cucumber de-skinner. De so, you know, growing up as a kid, we, would, uh, we were poor, so we were on food stamps for a little while, and my mom was embarrassed about it, so we went to a different grocery store. We couldn't even afford evaporated milk. We had to drink evaporated water. Is that a joke? You did a great job with that dice. Take a look at Joe's magnificent, oh, whoa, 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 safety first. Great lesson for all the kids and adults at home. This is not a real good job here. Let me give it a little fine, fine it up there. Okay, good. Let's get that, some of that in there. How much are we supposed to be putting just, in there? Just, you know, you don't want to overwhelm it. That's, it's kind of, a, you don't want to really overwhelm it. That's, per, that's about right. I mean, I'd say put the rest of what you got going on there. Oh, I've, I forgot about the garlic. Put it, just chop up some garlic for me. Cilantro makes anything taste just like a little piece of home, doesn't it, Joe? Is that cilantro? Of course it's cilantro. It's green and it's got leaves. Okay. Give it a nice chop here. Here, why don't you try some? See? Delicious. Pretty sure this oh, is parsley, but. What do you mean, parsley? It's cilantro. It's fucking guacamole, and you put cilantro, you put cilantro in guacamole. Of course it's cilantro. That logic doesn't dairy. mean that it is Yes, it does. Cilantro. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Is... Stop it. Stop it. Chop it up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, good. Delicious, isn't it? Doesn't it just make you want to, don't you just want to get a whiff? You know, you can be uh, a real asshole That smells you terrific. Cooking. Doesn't it smell wonderful? Not now. I emailed you about that. Don't... 
talk later. Put it, chop it up harder. Okay, so why is this Christmas guacamole? That's the big question you're probably wondering. Of course, there's only one reason, red. Nothing says Christmas like the color red. Joe? What about green? Just, Doesn't green well, say Christmas? That's why it's we're making... Just equally? Isn't it the combination of the two? Kind of like you and me. Green needs red, red needs green. Otherwise, it doesn't work. How close of friends do you think we are, Hank? Well, I mean, we've been hanging out. You, you come over and we do stuff with the cameras. Right? Cool. Isn't it? Well, are, what are you trying? Are, are you saying something? Are I mean, we not? Have we ever spent a Christmas together? What is? Yeah, we are right now. This, this what, is, is Christmas. This, this is what the seventh, December seventh. I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff. How, how am I supposed to know? I don't know that stuff. I'm going to be Let's with just, my family on Christmas with my wife. Well, where are we going? That sounds fun. <laughs> Who's going to be my secret Santa? I hope it's the real Santa because he brings the best presents of all, doesn't he? What's your wife? Uh, what you have a wife? You have a wife? See, you don't even know that I have a wife. Like, how close of friends are we? Why? Well, I, I thought that cucumber does smell really good, though. That it do, doesn't it add a nice crispy freshness I, you to know it. What? I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but yeah. it smells great. <laughs> great tip from not, the, from good. Taste Buds' very own Joe McAdam. Cut out the core. You know, it's easy. Just do a little a little V shape, right? Mm -hmm. And then pop it right out. Like Watch that. your fingers now. Don't we don't want any more trips to the emergency room today? And then just do a nice chop. Bam, like that, huh? And now are you pressing or are you slicing? Slicing. Okay. What are you doing? Well, I did this. I thought I was doing both. Slice, don't press, right? Slice. And look how look how good that looks. See? You're pressing. Slice. I slice. I can't. I'm isn't that slicing? Fuck. Did you do the garlic? Yeah, it's in there. All right. I feel like this is already going to be fucked because you put parsley in it instead of cilantro. What, what do you mean parsley? It's cilantro. It's, look, it's, it said at the grocery store. What is it? Isn't it the same thing anyway? What's the difference? It's fucking green and it makes it taste like... you. We, and luckily, we, we had some already prepared. Whoa, that looks tremendous, delicious. I think it's time for a taste. Um, got some walnuts. Just dip your fingers in it. All right. Yeah. Um, terrific. Some of the best parsley, Christmas parsley cilantro uh, guacamole I've ever had. We have no lime. Lime actually helps it prevent from browning. Where do, I did bring an alternate though. Where, where did that go? Ah, here we are. If you don't have lime, if you don't have lime, you can just use lemon. And if you don't have lemon, you can steal some lemon concentrate from Subway. Take, take, take a stab at that, see? Oh man. I didn't even know they made this. Well, it's concentrated, so that means it must be good. Bam! <laughs> Glad somebody's having fun. All right, let's give this a go here. Okay. Oh, did you put the whole packet in there? Yes. We'll mix it up. Maybe it'll go away if you stir it. Okay. Delicious. These are my favorite tortilla chips. Give it a try. Here, why don't you just have one? We don't have any salt or pepper or any of the other stuff, but you know what? We have love. Mmm, -mm. can't get it in there. All right, Joe, I think we did it. It's gonna be a great year. Santa will bless us all. Thank you very much for watching. Please tune in next time. We're gonna be making Christmas for one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, watch all of our other stupid videos. Thank you and good night. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm eating, motherfucker. <laughs>